If you've ever accused someone of being a Neanderthal, then tonight you've been proved right. But it takes one to know one because scientists have just released studies that show we are all partly Neanderthal. For the first time ever, DNA analysis has proved that early modern humans interbred with our closest even evolutionary relatives. Stephanie West has this report. It's a debate that's engaged scientists for a hundred years or more. What's our link with Neanderthal man and woman? And moreover, did we ever mate? Now the truth is out of the box. According to research released tonight, DNA evidence shows modern humans interbred with the now extinct. Scientists believe it means all of us alive today are at least 1% Neanderthal. People like me have argued that there might have been interbreeding in the past, but all trace of it could have disappeared. This shows it didn't disappear, and it's there at a reasonable level. For the last four years, a team of 50 international scientists in Germany have been extracting DNA from Neanderthal bones, looking to resurrect their genetic code. But in so doing, they found this new evidence that settled the long-standing debate. It was six million years ago that humans began to evolve. We know Neanderthals and modern man coexisted in Europe and Asia for several hundred thousand years. But the scientists found DNA evidence they began interbreeding at least 50,000 years before Neanderthals became extinct. As to what these scientists say, it's a potential goal to help establish what makes us unique and could tell us why modern man survived while Neanderthals died out. In fact, in modern times, Neanderthal has become a handy word for brutish unevolved behaviour, as in this 1950s cult classic. But at the Natural History Museum, they hope this discovery will lead to a little more understanding towards our past partners. What we don't know yet is what these genes might be doing. So the genes that came from Neanderthals, we don't yet know what their significance might be. They were distinct from us, but they were actually quite advanced humans. They could walk upright as well as we can, their brains were as large as ours. Um, they were pretty good at what they did in terms of stone tool making. They buried their dead, so they had some very human features. But it looks like they were a, a somewhat separate line. And what this research also shows is that there are at least 70 genes that have been picked up that seem to be unique to the modern human line. The irony is some scientists believe Neanderthals were driven to extinction by humans, but now it seems they're still around, a tiny percentage 